I'll never forget the words he said to me next. He goes, Kev, look at your legs. Imagine you couldn't use those again. He says, look at your skateboard sitting in the back seat. Imagine you couldn't ride it again. Imagine you couldn't ride with us tomorrow. You know, harsh words from a buddy, but I'm glad he said them. I went and gave that buddy that half handshake hug thing, don't know what it's called, probably know what I'm talking about. Thanks, dude, yeah, my back. Now I tell that little side story for two reasons. One, what are the odds? I have a buddy tell me to look at my legs and my skateboard just a month earlier as I'm about to drive impaired. And too bad to learn my lesson there. I also tell it because that's a friend. I don't remember Brennan jumping in the car though. I do vaguely remember driving past old high school, coming down this hill and stopping at a red light. And I think about that intersection a lot. There's a T in the road. So I'm turning right or I'm turning left. Right's home, left's party and some more. And on that night, that's all that it was. But looking back, I see this so much more. It's like a crossroads in life. Whichever way I turn, whichever choice I make, you know, it's going to determine everything. My life, Brendan's life, Evan around us, their lives too. And I was wishing those days had a thought like that. No one had told me what had happened. I know why now. People are really worried if I learn the details, I may give up. I may quit fighting. You know, I was fighting for my life every single day. Well, one day I started asking questions. And it was my mom who was there reading my lips to answer them. The first question I asked, why can I move? Or well, it's Kev, I'm really sorry. You're paralyzed. And there's my mom telling me I'll never walk again. I'll never run again. I'll never skateboard again, snowboard again, play hockey again. And I'm thinking, I can't even get out of bed today. I don't even want it. I'm thinking about quitting again. But I never quit. And I promise you, I never will. Just think of someone, someone who loves you so much. Someone you love so much. It's that person who's so special to you. I think of my sister Allison. I think of my parents. I think of my friends. And I even think of you. I've been laying in bed sometimes thinking, I can't do this. I can't get through today. But I'm like, I gotta. Because I've made a promise to a lot of young people that I'll never quit. And who knows, maybe there's some young person out there who's taken that as inspiration and they're not quitting either. So that's the deal, you know, I don't quit, you don't quit.